One thing that will help keep the cost of the recount down is finishing it quickly. Right now it looks like that's happening in Ingham County. Fox 47 Susan Alcori checked on the progress as workers plow through more than 130,000 ballots. It's a tedious task Trump. where one mistake can set you back hours. We miscounted by one, and so we had to count again. So fast is the last thing Stephanie McLean expected when she signed up for the recount. It's set up very efficiently. In two days, her team counted more than 4,000 ballots, and with 30 teams going at similar paces, Ingham County's recount could be finished by Wednesday half the time they predicted. I don't want to jinx myself. Superstitions aside, Clerk Barb Byram says finishing ahead of schedule could cut the county's costs since each day it takes nearly $8,000 just to pay counters. We have security at night for the ballots. There are things that I should be doing and my staff should be doing that don't involve the recount. So all of those things are being put on hold right now. All the ballots that have been counted are being kept separate from what's left. And even though it doesn't look like much, Ingham County Clerk Barb Byram tells me those could be more complex and time consuming. We're starting to work on absentee counting boards, AV counting boards. Those ballots require an extra step because multiple precincts can be combined in one bag. So those are different piles that need to be sorted and then sorted based on Canada and counted. But McLean knows her team is up to the challenge. People are in good spirits and everybody's after the same objective, which is, you know, to make sure every vote counts. With every ballot getting them closer to the finish line. In Ingham County, Susan L. Corey, Fox 47 News. So far, six precincts in Ingham County have been left out of the recount because the bags spill open or the seals were broken. The original elections results will stand for those precincts. Eaton, Clinton, and Jackson County start counting their ballots tomorrow. Hillsdale County will start on Thursday. The State Board of Canvassers is scheduled to meet tomorrow morning to deal with any other objections to the recount.